Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. So we're just going to take a leap into the future and we're going to look at the Year 6 roadmap. So this was actually released alongside the Year 5 roadmap, which, you know, blows my mind, but okay, we're here. And this is good. It's good communication from the devs. It lets us know what's coming in the future and how things are going to be because leading up to this reveal for the Year 5 roadmap, we found out unfortunately through a data mine about six operators instead of eight it would have been nice to get this communication earlier but certainly they blew me away with their reveal today with all the different stuff they showed off so maybe it was worth it but i also think that you know they could have a little bit more communication before the big event as well anyway year five is going to be bringing us six operators but in year six we're going to be getting only four operators now this is because they do plan on doing a lot more other things, reworking other operators, and they've also talked about actually extending the life of Rainbow Six Siege for the next 10 to 15 years. Now, this is actually not exactly the craziest thing they could say because if you go and check the Steam numbers for Rainbow Six Siege, it is only growing. It's actually at its highest point right now. Now, will it be able to you know, continue that momentum? hopefully, but it means that it's not the craziest idea to actually go for our 10 to 15 years, even though it sounds mental. Now, going down to just four operators a year means that they're still aiming for the 100 operator target, but now it'll take longer to get there. However, let's uh, you know get away from the operator thing. Let's move on to the other stuff. So there's going to be core gameplay improvements and reworks. So that'll be operator reworks alongside just major improvements to the game itself. They are also going to be bringing out a map per season. Now, they don't say if it's a brand new map or a rework, but I like the fact that it's left open that this could just be a whole new map because I don't want to get reworked maps all the time. I do want new maps to come in. So I'm very happy to see that they haven't just said reworks all over this roadmap. At least for year six, there's a possibility of getting new maps, which is good to me. They're also, of course, going to have their events and they're going to double up on those events by having extra little fun playlists as well, along with battle passes. Now, those battle passes as well, I expect they're going to be way bigger than the one we just got. I expect they'll be big season spanning actual battle passes. So full on, it'll take a long time to get through them. And I think for the you know Ubisoft, it's going to make them an absolute ton of money. But uh, yeah, this is the year six roadmap. Didn't expect to see this today. Gotta say, I was expecting to see this in a year. So getting to see it now is pretty cool. And it is sad to see four operators per year, but to me, I can kind of see that working, especially if they do have a reworked operator every season as well. They also said they're not gonna bring the reworked operators in at like the beginning or end of season. They're actually gonna just drop them in when they're ready. So this means we could just mid season get a reworked operator, which is kind of cool too. And uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's going to be pretty good. It's of course going to be hard to digest for a lot of people out there. This might seem like a really bad roadmap for year six for a lot of people. But uh, let me know what you think. I'm curious to see what your reaction is to this. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.